Finder and Figment, trying to find this t-shirt, and thank God, Redbubble. Redbubble had it. So I actually get a lot of compliments on this, even when I'm not in Orlando or at the parks. I'm really surprised at how many people recognize Journey into Imagination. I love that it has the um, Future World logo on it. It has the glass pyramids, and of course it has Daddy and Baby Boy. So that's one of my favorites. Um, recently, I'll, I'll link it or put it in one of the info cards or whatever. Sorry, I'm having a whole moment with my pillows here. Um, in my uh, most recent vlog, I talked about my visit to the Walt Disney Family Museum, which is here uh, in the Bay Area, located at the Presidio in San Francisco, and I did a whole vlog on my experience, blah, 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 blah. Um, they were having, are still having an exhibition on the history of Mickey Mouse, and I showed the merchandise that I purchased there, and two of the items were t-shirts, so I'm going to pull those up now. So, what's cool about going to the Walt Disney Family Museum is, aside from like buying these sec secondary on like eBay or something, they have merch that you can only get there, which is um, incredible and frustrating if you're not there. And believe you me, I've, I've been there before, <laughs> like not being able to have access to something merchandise-wise because you're not physically there, but if you do have the privilege and the, you know, benefit of, of going to the Walt Disney Family Museum, whether you're a resident out here or you're on vacation, it's definitely worth the trip. Um, again, just for like the history of it all, the art history of it all, um, just it's a great way to spend the day and really learn about Americana, specifically, you know, Walt's influence on the world and anyways so this is specifically from the mickey mouse exhibition and it's one of the earliest drawings earliest known drawings of mickey um from one of the original nine old men so i haven't worn this yet but there she goes and then they had this which i love the color and the walt disney family museum tees also have the walt disney family museum logo on the back which is really cool haven't worn this one either, I'm saving it probably for the parks, but it is an original print of the original e-ticket listing what's on this. So good for choice of one, you had to pick, what was it, 75 cents adult admission, can you imagine? Um, so you had to pick whether you wanted to go to Tomorrowland, Fantasyland, Frontierland, New Orleans Square, or Adventureland and you would be able to ride one of the rides uh, listed. And you can actually buy the original tickets um, on eBay and various like third-party places. They sell them at the Art of Disney and Epcot. Uh, they're quite expensive, but they're beautiful, especially if you're a collector. Um, let me see if there's anything I wanna... Yeah, okay, so these I got, these are still on sale everywhere. They're pretty popular right now, but I got these last year at World of Disney, which um, the renovation to that store, uh, I have to tell you, they really uh, they really killed it. I think it looks beautiful. It's cleaner. Sorry, I'm sweating profusely, y'all, and so my hair is just like... Like that? Like that? Oh. Alright, so anyways, World of Disney. Um, they sell it in the parks too, but I got the 71 Walt Disney, a little oversized, but mom is fat right now, so it works. Pardon the wrinkles on everything. I just did laundry and haven't folded anything. So this one, they have the Walt Disney World version and they have the Disneyland version, kind of retro, original, like I just... Like, aside from the color and, like, the pop art, like, just the fact that they have the original, like, Walt Disney World logo, uh, I just, like, I'm living. And the yellow, I didn't even know I liked yellow. I like yellow. Okay. Sorry, y'all, I'm on a, a makeshift, uh, situation here because I normally film upstairs, but it is balls hot up there, so Mama came down, and here we are, making it work. Let's talk about Disney Style Store. So, 
if you're not familiar with Walt Disney World or Disneyland, both have a downtown Disney district. Our downtown Disney district in about four years ago, five years ago, was re revamped and renovated and is now called Disney Springs. It's like the fifth iteration of our downtown Disney. And I will say well done. I love it. Um, and one of the things, if, if you're familiar with like the old west side, um, adjacent or attached to the um, original entrance of the AMC theater was a Harley Davidson store for like 10 plus, maybe like, yeah, like 10-ish years. They moved the Harley Davidson store to the other side of the uh, situation. But prior to that, it was like, I forget what it was called, but it was a... a Hollywood memorabilia store. If anybody knows what that thing was called, comment below. It was kind of like a, it wasn't Planet Hollywood. It might actually have been a Planet Hollywood. I don't think it was though. I think it was like its own thing. But anyways, there was a memorabilia store there, right on that corner of the original entrance to the AMC. If you know the name of that store, please comment below because I want to see if anyone has like YouTube footage of it. But anyways, most recently it's the Disney Style Store, and I think Tim Tracker said it best when he was like, if you were going to, if you were an Instagrammer and you wanted to buy Disney shit, like, you'd go to the Disney Style Store. It's very true. It's all, like, very on-trend and, like, cutesy and, like, self-referential. But it's also, like, really awesome. They have a lot of deep cut stuff in there, and I'm just realizing I have another shirt. I'm gonna save that one for last because I'm gonna have to go upstairs and grab it. They have a lot of stuff that is bringing back, like, retro Disney um, attractions, some that are still with us and some that are not. So this is kind of like a weird situation. It's it's kind of like a thermal fit, but it's like t-shirt material, so it's, it's not heavy. But you can see it's kind of like a thermal situation. It's got, like, the ribbing here. I don't know if you can see that seam, but you know, we have a whole country bear moment going here, jam on country bears, you know, if, I think it's pretty much the same on the front and back, but I just thought the print and the colors were great. Um, I've worn this a couple times and uh, outside of the parks and people have recognized it, which is really cool. Um, another thing I got from the Disney Style Store that I got lots of compliments on and I've seen a couple other people with this shirt is this, it's a small world moment tank. And it's kind of got that like flowy, um, Melissa can fit her fat torso in its situation. And then it's, you know, the back is slit open. So you have like, you have a, a whole thing. I wore this to flower and garden because, you know, well, for obvious reasons. Um, and it's just a cute little, it's a small world situation. Disney style. Now I get the most compliments probably about this shirt. And again, this is why Disney style is so good, because they're serving us the deep cuts. So, in this material, this is like jersey t-shirt, which is so soft, is the uh, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. I actually wore this in a vlog, and I got a bunch of comments and compliments on this. So, you know, it says Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, and it says in white at the top. I don't know if you can see that or read that, but it basically says, you know, let's take a ride to nowhere, is that what it says? Take a motor car to nowhere in particular. So, you know, it's, it's got your whole trippy fantasy land situation there. And thank God for Disneyland for still having Mr. Toad's and Snow White's adventure because uh, Orlando was robbed of both of those years ago and replaced with what? The Winnie the Pooh ride, let me just take a moment. The Winnie the Pooh ride, I finally rode for the first time this in, in April. I was so confused. I could not follow the narrative of that ride and I felt like I should have been on a high amount of LSD, but that ride is just not, on my like top 100 rides like I don't get what's going on I don't get the story that they're trying to tell I don't think there is a story I don't know if you guys know what's going on you can tell me but to replace Mr. Toad's Wild Ride with that POS not happy about it and then they took Snow White's Adventure away many years ago and what are we left with a princess meet and greet and I mean I told you making this video was a mistake Disney Style Store. 
So, I was at the Poly with some friends and I saw a guy wearing this and I was like, <gasps> where? And I didn't actually approach him, I said that, that was a rhetorical in my head question. But it's, a, it's, a, it's weird, this one's weird because it looks like a sweatshirt, it's got a sweatshirt cut, but it, it's not sweatshirt material, it's like the country bears, but yeah, it, it looks like a sweatshirt, but it, it fits like a tee. And so like, you know, the pink and then the rose gold, you know, living for that, but my favorite part is the sleeve. Again, I think they have the Disneyland equivalent, but if you're gonna give me this on anything, I'm buying it. So that's that. So I'm gonna throw in a random deep cut here. This is going back to T Public. Um, this is, and I could not believe that they even had this. I Googled, or I Googled, I did a search on T Public for River Country, and lo and behold, Praise Jesus, somebody had a River Country deep cut print. And I don't know if you guys can read that, but River Country, may it rest in peace, has all but been completely demolished. You can't even like ride the boat or you buy and see like the abandoned, pool. like it's gone. <sighs> Again, I, my childhood. So it's basically just like the sign that was next to the slide. The, the these were the slippery slide falls were the if I don't know if you guys like can picture river country but if you're facing the lake from the beach it was the water slide across the lake so the tube slide and so this is basically like the original sign it says for your safety and enjoyment please water depth exceeds six feet good swimmers only wait until area below is clear Use slide in sitting position only, feet first, no swimming in slide areas, no flips, and only one guest at a time on the slide. So, I mean, honestly, thank you to whoever designed this for keeping, keeping me alive. So, big thing with a uh, Festival of the Arts, obviously, he's the ambassador, but I, I mean, he's kind of showing up in Flower and Garden Festival more. He was on a lot of food and wine merch um, last year, but Figment is, is coming back like with a vengeance and I'm here for it. But this was the um, pass, oh excuse me, they were sold out of the annual pass holder version of this shirt, which was even more like 60s and psychedelic. Um, and I have the mug of that, uh, a print of that on a mug, but this is just like the regular um, 2019 Epcot Flower and Garden Festival. Let your imagination grow wild, and I'm really not a fan of purple, but I mean, the colors, everything, figs right there in the center, you know, really, really overly excited about this bouquet of flowers. Uh, I had to get it. So, I'm gonna go 